Hi everybody. So today is a Sunday and I'm not pretty so I'm not gonna put myself my face on camera. You don't want to see that. I'm just trying to get some work done before a sale I've got coming up next Saturday. It's the sale. So I was working on a few pieces including this box here. It's this really great. It was this cherry wood box and I painted it in the bungalow 47. Um, I'm sorry about the light because the sun decided to go away and there's just nothing I can do about it. But it's the French 12 from bungalow 47 which is one of their seasonal colors and if they decide to not add this to their regular product line I'm gonna have to just buy out a stock of it because I absolutely love this gray. Look at how fantastic this color is. It's just a really great soft gray and it, I love it. So everything I've put it on, I've been in love with. So I've got some frames that I did. I'm doing some wood gift tags that I, I'm gonna put little sayings and phrases on to sell, like let it be and, and just silly little things. Um, but I did junk gypsies, um, granny's cornbread, which I love. Junk Gypsies Free Range, which is their really great sort of grass green. And then I did French Toile. Um, and of course, duck egg. Everyone's favorite duck egg. Duck egg sells on frames, it sells on boxes, it sells on anything I put it on. It also sells the paint. People like duck egg, so it's just one of those ubiquitous colors that I put on everything but today while I'm doing this I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on water water distressing um, people ask me all the time what that is in addition to questions on what chalk paint is they are unsure of how to do the different distressing techniques so if you've never worked with chalk paint or you're using chalk paint for the first time, I'm going to show you water distressing. It's the simplest way to distress a piece and I think it gives it a nice natural distressed feel. So all you need is a little water, grab a bowl of water, mine's in a yogurt cup, an old towel, make sure it's one you're not going to want to use again because you're going to get dirty, but you just dip that in water. So it's damp, I didn't wring it out too much. I do like mine to be a little wet. This is gonna reactivate the chalk paint. Water within the first two weeks is gonna really reactivate this paint. So it's not completely cured. I painted this yesterday. Um, and then you just take it and you start rubbing on the edges where you would see normal wear. So you can see that came off very easy, fairly easy. So I'm gonna show you up close. I mean, there was no effort involved in that. So that's all you do. And you can see when I was painting, a little bit of the edge didn't get covered, but I didn't care because I'm going to be distressing. So I'm going to take where that piece was and I'm just going to hit it a little more with the water and do a quick water distress. But you can see it starts to look like a normal wear pattern. I absolutely love this technique and I'm it's one of the things I love most about chalk paint if I had put layers of color on here like a green undertone or a blue under it or even the yellows you would you could actually fade back to different layers of color I had a friend do a dresser and if she gives me permission I'll post a, a copy of the picture in the video uh, it was stunning. She did duck egg and over it she did succulent garden which are both bungalow 47 colors and it turned out absolutely stunning. But I'm going to continue to do my distressing and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so like I said, it's quick and easy. Uh, 
love my uh, backdrop for this, right? I buy my working cloths from the dollar store. I just get a tablecloth from the dollar store because it's cheaper than buying a drop cloth at the hardware store. There's a handy little money saving tip and it's all about the profit. So as you can see, what I did was I took places that you would normally see wear. Like I redid the hardware on this, let me show you. It was brass and I changed it to this dark oil rub bronze, which I absolutely love. So it'll be really cute when it's done. But I decided to wear away the paint where you would see, like people would be grabbing it and it would be moving back and forth. So you would naturally lose paint in those areas and around the edges and around the keyhole. I didn't want to expose all the brass. So you'd see a little bit because I am changing the, the other brass to an oil rub bronze. Um, but I the nice thing is too, is where I, cause I didn't want the inside painted where I kind of overlapped, I can clean up the paint real easily. I wasn't too worried um, about dripping over the edge because as you can see, it wiped off really nice. I'll, I'll continue to do a little touch up, but I didn't want to keep you overly long watching me just scrub out a, a box, but it's going to be super cute. This was a very slick um, piece when I painted it. The, pa the paint sticks beautifully. It doesn't matter if it's raw wood this was all raw wood these tags so it kind of soaks in a little more you can almost see the wood grain coming through there i love the way that it focused on that but you can see the texture and the wood grain and then for shiny pieces if you're concerned at all about stuff coming off you can certainly use a primer i don't i didn't sand it i didn't prime it i didn't do anything i just painted right over that glossy wood and then i'll put a top coat on here I don't use wax. I have a child. I do not have time to be re-waxing. So I don't, that's what I think about when I create a piece for sale is would I want to be sitting around playing with wax on this thing? And the answer is no. And I think this is going to be a cute little jewelry box. And if somebody, you know, uses it every day to put their jewelry in or their change or their phones or whatever they want to do with it they don't want to keep rewaxing it so i am going to clear coat it um, junk gypsy and bungalow 47 have a fantastic clear coat that doesn't yellow so i'm going to do that with this piece and then i can show you pictures when it's all done but i got all this stuff to do yet so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get that done and through the magic of youtube it won't seem like any time for you at all i'll show you a picture Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. I post every week more junk in videos and DIY tutorials. Click the bell icon to be notified.